All right. Um. So make sure that my cheats are fucking. Or wait, I have to make sure my cheats are ready. And wait, no, hold on. Turn it off. Okay. This is Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines. <laughs> There's a sequel. Uh, it's coming soon. By the way. Uh. First person in chat to like type out a name wins, and I'll type it in. Um. <coughs> so, uh, this is cheating, by the way. Uh, this is on version 1.1 of this game. If you reselect the clan, like before the game starts, like you like fill out the, the thing with all your points, your skill points, um, and then you go back to the previous screen and then click the the clan. Butts value, dude. Uh, woo, gaming. Uh, you like? So yeah, I have max stats at the start of the game. This is big epic. And by the way, that was all my. I was just clicking, you know. Uh, so uh, we're playing as Clan Nosferatu because they're ugly, which is literally the reason. Uh, I'll get into that in a bit. But I'm just gonna start the game pretty soon. Uh, so time starts in when I left click to continue uh, so I'm gonna three two one go uh, so this game you're like a <coughs> you're a vampire Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, you? and uh you have to do stuff oh no Uh, so real quick, I'm gonna do some cheating, like injecting our input so that my mouse movement isn't terrible. So this guy in the purple suit is Mercurio. He's really important to the story, but we don't have to talk to him uh, because we skip it. So we're gonna buy this lockpick, which literally lets us do everything because uh, since we have max stats at the start of the game, we basically open the big haunted house early because you need 10 lock picking to open the house you're not supposed to have 10 lock picking when you start the game so we're gonna get in there early uh, we're gonna jump on her head this is important later because we're skipping stuff uh <laughs> so the big vampire like cabal has like a secret society prince or whatever and because you're like a new vampire, they like bully you into doing stuff for them. <coughs> so, uh, he's gonna make a- he, he wants to make us go talk to Mercurio and then get a bomb and blow up a warehouse. Uh, but we don't have to get the bomb or talk to Mercurio. Cause we're gonna do some epic stuff. Uh, so also we're bunny hopping cause it's on source. Uh, if you don't know what bunny hopping is, google it. Uh, that's a big skip. It saves like a minute. Uh, you just jump over the stairs instead of falling down. Just don't go into the basement. <coughs> this level is actually unironically spooky. So I need to get hit by this pan because I'm a masochist and then the door will open uh, which is good for this game when I was 12 and this level made me not want to play anymore it was good good times There's a base in this hallway. Spookiness in direct portion to value, yeah. Uh, also, I have a, a bind which changes the FPS. Because the doors are really buggy. 
So if you try to go through the door, the doors move slower on high FPS. So I need to cap it to 60s for the doors to open properly. Sometimes if you have it on high FPS and you walk into the door, you'll get stuck and you lose the run uh, forever and you die. You're just stuck there for eternity. I didn't get it. If you bunny hop into those pipes, you just zoom through them. It's pretty epic. Uh, so the reason we jumped on her head earlier is to get her to roll to this. What are you doing? You to roll to the elevator, uh, which is important because after we done, after we're done talking to her, she's gonna do this cutscene thing, and then we can like walk into the the elevator and stop it from closing, which is important for our skip. So by setting that elevator up, that's actually a really important thing because because if cause there's a way to clip into this cutscene here that it's happening. Uh dancing. So you're <coughs> instead of getting the bomb, uh we send this elevator up, which you're not supposed to be able to get into until after you get the bomb. So um, by setting the elevator up, we can then, uh, and also the ocean house basically causes this cutscene to happen that we can jump into. And then it better be in the sequel. You're right. Uh, th th this is the reason I play this game, by the way. I like getting bullied by her. Um, um so now that we're in this cutscene, if we were in here and we didn't send the elevator up, uh, we'd be stuck here, and that would be not good. <clears throat> uh, so the next trick is that we have this lockpick, right? We're just gonna stick it in this door so that the elevator doesn't close, because we still can't open this elevator. So we 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 do need to keep it open. Excuse me. We need to fight these nerds. I don't really know. I, I don't really remember why we need to fight these nerds. I just remember that you do. Uh, yeah, they're trying to murder you. Which is pretty sick when you're max level vampire. Uh, you just kind of punch them. Oh no. I'm gonna pick up the lockpick now and then walk in the elevator. It saves like two minutes because you have to go get the bomb. Then you have to have a conversation with Mercurio. <laughs> which is actually kind of long. Uh, here's the big plot twist, by the way, for this section. <laughs> Turns out she's like multiple personality. Wild. I don't remember what to press here, so I'm just gonna press one. Oh no. Wait. Okay, I needed to press three, so I almost messed up. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're all okay. We're okay. We did it. Uh, the reason that getting them to like not kill each other is better is because it'll teleport you down to the bottom of the thing. Uh, otherwise, you just have to take the elevator down, which is not good. I have to talk to this ugly guy. Uh... So he can get us into the warehouse, so we can blow up the warehouse with the bomb that we don't have. I don't know. So there's a pretty sick trick here, uh, because also because we're max level vampire, we have this ability called Obfuscate, and it's just invisible. Um, so after you 
get in and like blow up the place, like plant the bomb, you're supposed to. Uh, you're, you're you're meant to, like, have like this escape sequence. Uh, but if you're just invisible the whole way through, and they never see you, you can just leave out the front entrance, so you don't have to do any of the escape sequence. Because them seeing, it what are you doing, bro? That was new. This is new. New experience. I've never had them come into my stream. So sad. Uh, I don't remember the the dialogue. All right, I did it. This guy's a furry. Bye. Okay. Oh God, goodness. So now we can leave Santa Monica. So the reason that being ugly is fast is because you don't have to talk to the cab driver. And also there's a security guard in the tower that we're about to go to called Officer Chunk. And you don't want to talk to Officer Chunk because he can soft lock the game and he takes forever to talk to. So yeah, being ugly, you don't have to talk to the, the like the cab driver still comes up anyway, but you literally, but you, you like you're in the cab in the cutscene, but you didn't. You want to talk to Chunk. I can arrange that, but Let's drain it. it'll take a little bit. Let's take it and leave it I forgot to... Going to have a lot of fun with this one. Never mind. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? I had live split running and I forgot to split. So I just turned it off. Because this run is not that good. <coughs> Chunk seems like a good guy. He's okay, but he's kind of... You know, right? This cutscene is pretty long. Oh. Look at that fourth wall break. I emerged and dude, just got owned. Leave. I'm out of water. What do I do? This ain't over. We'll find you. Oh. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. It's a pretty good idea, Cassie. I th I'll think about it. I'm thinking about it right now. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. All right. Execution needs a little work. So this is nines. He like, shit. he's like a hot guy vampire. This is a mean existence. Or something like that's what he's supposed to be. He's from Twilight. He's from Twilight, I think. Right? I don't remember. So this is a skelter skip. This is the most important skip ever. Because this skip is so important actually. If I don't get it, I'll I'll cry on stream. Ah Okay. <coughs> I'm crying in the in the club right now. Uh so Skelter is that uh that guy by the staircase. If you like jump past him and talk to nines before he can talk to you, he'll just like be sad and sit in the corner and not talk to you. But he talked to me, so I was too slow. And it, yeah. All right, so now th th going through here is why being ugly and being able to go through here is why uh, being Nosferatu is good. I can show you Officer Trunk. I think. Yeah. Where are we at? Here's Officer Chunk. I'm not gonna talk to him. 
Because I, I don't want to softlock the game. Where do I go? Being ugly makes you not have to talk to Officer Trunk. Because you can go through the pipe instead of... Like, because you can enter this tower through the sewer. Good. I've never talked to Officer Chunk in a speedrun. Can you imagine? Being able to travel by map is really fast because you don't have to talk to the cab driver, but it's mostly fast because you don't have to talk to Officer Chunk when you go to the LaCroix Tower. Uh, who's the prince vampire, by the way. And he's making us go into a boat. <coughs> so I came up with some new strats for this boat thing like a, a little bit ago. So I'm going to try to do it. Oh no. That, that wasn't my new strat, by the way. Everything is going wrong. All right. So we have to get uh, that those things. We have to investigate stuff, and then we have to grab this. And that's everything you need to do on the the the, the boat, so we can leave that. What are you doing? I I've never seen him be there ever. Now we're gaming. Uh, we're gonna go back to LaCroix and tell him that the epic vampire sarcophagus that he thinks is like ultra powerful or something is is not actually located on the boat. Now we're gaming. We're not maintaining the masquerade. See that you don't attract any more attention. I've said all I need to from me in the back. Dude, me in the middle. Same Cassie. And those each month. All right, so now we need to go talk to a shut-in, an old guy, uh, <coughs> in his mansion. No, you should get. Is walking painful for vampires? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go fast. Uh, so there's a- this puzzle is really crazy, actually. Um, this is a puzzle. You have to, like... It's kind of hard to explain. You just kind of... Solve it. You know what I mean? So the reason I was invisible there is because if those guys see me, uh, I have to go through that area again, like a second time. So if they see me, they'll be in my way and like block a door, which is really annoying. I'm grabbing this knife for later because it saves time in China. 
In Chinatown. Not in China. Wouldn't it be crazy if you just like went to the People's Republic of China? Be wild. After decades of solitary study into this fiction, I have learned that it is by no You get to do that in Bloodlines too. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I will need So I won't need that knife until a lot later. So like that like the literal end of the game. It saves two seconds. At the end of the game. Just having the knife. Taxes are? Uh, I'm sure he has like vampire mind control, so he doesn't have to pay taxes. Like me. I don't pay taxes. Uh, Yeah. He's just doing a, a Wesley Snipes real quick. Is he in Blade? Shout out to the last runner. Shout out to the children. Can we save the children real quick? So I went into that room and grabbed all that blood because, oh goodness, because I need it later. Uh, because there's like this meter on the right. It's the blood meter. You you like need blood because you're a vampire. You use blood to do your your magic powers. So I need all that blood to fight the bosses. Cause I have I have a, a power that I need to use on them to kill them. Dude, if Bloodlines 2 was a CSGO mod, that'd be sick. I'd play the heck out of that. What's up, Mr. Bones? Mr. Bones is having a rough time right now. So I'm gonna leave him by himself. You know, just give him some time to think about it. So that's like a vampire hunter guy, and he's like burning the house down. It's pretty sad. But you know. We just gotta book it, you know what I mean? Uh, we'll have a reunion with Mr. Bones later, uh, if I'm bad. If I talk about Mr. Bones again, I assume something bad went wrong. I'm ready to go, buddy. Dude, I want to become Mr. Bones. Holy moly. I've been bad. Someone should punish me by making me Mr. Bones. I'm crouching here because I don't want the security guards to see me on the off chance that they shoot. Because on the off chance of, that they shoot me, uh, I have to restart the lock picking animation, which is really annoying. All right. I'll just show some new epic strats here. Uh, I got the revolver. Uh, better. Oh, goodness. Can you not? Actually, though. That's the new epic strat. Yeehaw, partner. Oh! Okay, I almost lost the run by getting stuck in the door. I pressed F to 
to, res to pay my respects, I guess. I can never remember what to press here, but I I googled it last night and it's one two 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 two. Perfect. I talked to him a second time, dude. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <coughs> what? Alright. Everything is going fine. That's happened to me before, actually. Goodness. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cool. Oh, so we need to talk to this guy. Don't mind the chair. Uh, so this is a boss fight, by the way. Um, about to fight a boss. Here's the boss. First try. First try typing boss. Sick. Uh, there's a second part of that boss fight. There's a second phase. So get ready for that. Coming up soon. So, uh, one thing that's interesting about this map in particular, what was that? <laughs> is that the, uh, there's too many NPCs on this level, so it's really laggy. Which is bad, because, like, your speed is kind of tied to your frame rate. Not like your speed- Swan- Excuse me, I have world record. I, I remember what I'm supposed to type. Uh, so, if I get stuck in this door, uh, like I'm su not supposed to anywhere else, and then I crouch, I can actually save load up through the ceiling. And, uh, so Isaac wants us to get some videotapes. We're actually going to get the second videotape first, and then we're going to go get the, the first one. Just because it works out this way. This is the second videotape. <coughs> Uh, you're not meant to get into here un until you play Isaac the first videotape. So once we get into the next conversation with Isaac, we're going to have to play him both of the videotapes back to back. So it's going to be a like a half of the cutscene and then like a full cutscene. That's like half of the full cutscene is the cutscene that we just watched. But this hub has too many NPCs on it, so it's really laggy. So speed gain is basically tied to FPS. So it's a lot harder to bunny hop on that level just because of how laggy it is on any computer. Literally NASA Super Computer is on 30 FPS there, so. Excuse me.
So now we're gonna play Isaac the <coughs> the videotapes. Alright, uh, doing some golden eye strats, looking at the ground. I hit an NPC, that's so sad. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Can't talk to him yet. Who's winning? Um hype, so get comfortable. I do a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to dude is winning. Alright, so now we get to watch it again because we have the second videotape. It's more I assume it's behind the anyway. Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be Will she be alright? I think so. What its motives are. She just fainted, you know. Got into a battle with a wild geo dude. He blacked out. Got sent to the dearest Pokemon Center. Sure, uh, Nurse Joy is taking good care of her. The house in the tape, I know it well. But if I may get when you're old, that's for you. Alright, so now I need to go fight the boss. Shout out to our rats, by the way. The rats birthday mixtape. Look at this dude. The top of his head. Sorry. <coughs> so this guy's like a whack-a-mole. Uh, kind of sucks. The best you can do is a two cycle, but usually, even if you get him to zero HP, you can still he'll still like pop up with his zero HP and like do this third cycle where he has zero HP. Just kind of waste your time. That. Well, these geodudes are actually really annoying because they follow you, and then when they hit you, you lose all of your speed. Right, so we're gonna want to avoid that as much as possible. You can actually get into this hub with speed, but it's like really precise. You need to, it's like a two unit clearance or something. One or two, probably. Uh, so this is a door. Uh, it's locked. Can open it from the other side like the like the like you like go to the opposite side and you just open the door you know you just reach your hand through yeah
But so here I don't want to get seen by this guy. This is Geo dude, so I'm just gonna crouch past him. Uh, and the reason why is because there's some Geo dudes in this room. If I alert that Geo dude, they'll hit me while I'm trying to open this door, which is no good. So I have to restart my lockpicking animation and kill them. Hey, mom. <laughs> That's no good. This is the best map in the game. Oh, no. Okay. Because you just kind of jump fast. You just kind of go fast. You know what I mean? Am I on the, uh, the FFZ thing? Can I get a horned anime in the chat, please? I need to action. Uh, I, I thought I didn't hit that. Uh, but ba I'll do it anyway, just for you guys. I'll do the trick anyway, even though I, I shouldn't. So when I hit this, I'm meant to like, do this. You can get into that corner during the cutscene and fall through the thing before it opens. Which is pretty good. Yeah, this map is really bad in casual play. Uh, like, pretty much like the entire end of the game, like through. The Warren's maps to like the end is not very good. Mr. Bones, what are you doing? This map is really hard to do uh, fast because it's really, there's a lot of stuff going on all over the floor. Uh, I'm trying my best though. Yeah. Uh, Uh, spook alert, by the way. Uh, just want to make sure you know. I'm shaking and crying right now, by the way. So... Where's the door? Oh, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. So now we can leave Hollywood. We're gonna go to Chinatown and beat the game. Real quick. I'm gonna eat this rat first. For safety. Because if I run out of blood in the final section, I'll get uh, this like frenzy thing and you just like become the beast or whatever. And it's really annoying because you just like lose control of your character. Which. It usually happens during the boss fight too, which is the worst because you just like you want to punch the boss and you're you're just running around looking for people to suck on. Not good. And there's no people around to suck on like you're just you're just fiending and there's no there's no one there. You know what I mean? And uh This is a really important skip, by the way. This skips all of Chinatown. I just want to, you know, they're like jumping on that tree. Uh, we're in like the final area and you're not supposed to be in here. That was like the fastest tempo one I think I've ever had. Uh, that was sick. That was, that was actually nuts. 
Can I open this door? This locked door? As well? Oh, we need to save load here so that these bamboo will like actually retract when I touch them. Because they usually won't. But if you save load for whatever reason, you can just kind of push them back into the wall. You can drop the lockpick on that instead of pushing the statue onto it. Which is good. Good play. Uh, this is why the, the knife is useful. Because usually you have to like strangle this person, but if you press backspace uh, while picking, while doing that, you'll drop the weapon for whatever reason and it just cancels the animation. So that saves like one second overall. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna be invisible through this whole area. Uh, if I touch those, like, if, 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 if I touch this uh, pressure plate here, bunch of like I'll show you right here this thing will come up and if I jump into that I will die and I will lose the run and I will have to load my last save which is in Santa Monica so I don't want to which is actually it's in Hollywood because I did the save load clipping so but yeah I, usually you don't want to do that excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me by the way Excuse me. Excuse me. It's not. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know the order. <laughs> I don't remember the order. Hold on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec, fellas. Is... All right, gamers. This is not good, actually. Can you leave me alone? All right, cool. Okay. I dropped it. I don't... Hold on. I think this is it. I'm stuck. I've suffered a, fi a final death. This is not good. Hold on. <laughs> I have a save here. Why do I have a... <gasps> I have a save. Hold on. Dragon Cat... Thank you, Goody Go. Shout out to Goody Go, by the way. I actually, I have a save here. I forgot about this save. I forget that I actually have this save every time. This is good. I have world record, by the way. I I was playing, I played this game for the first time in like three months last night. And then I got to China and I was like, I know how to do China. Um, so I'm not going to play it. And I forgot the order of the things. Obviously suboptimal, right? You definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, if anyone wants to take my world record, please do it, because I'm... You know. Whatever I just did, I'm that. Ah! I touched... The people and they're gonna believe me now. Okay, we're good. Dragon, hold on, stop typing so that Goody, Go Goody Go's message doesn't go off the screen. Dragon, cat, elephant, crane. Okay, cool. Victory. All right, I need to fight the boss. There's, she, she's talking about a lot of plot stuff that we don't know about because we didn't actually see it. Dude, thanks for the horned anime, by the way. Alright, so we're about to fight- we're about to beat the boss. 
cool. We we beat the boss. And now we're gonna beat the game. Oh, we have to talk to that taxi driver though. Wait, hold on. Okay, we're good. Well. Alright, so I'm about to- so when I touch the elevator thing, I win the game. So this is time, by the way. <laughs> so, <coughs> Ming Zhao is dead. Ming Zhao is dead. Got brave. Los Angeles at last is mine. Come. Stand next to me while we open the I definitely went overestimate, didn't I? Because my estimate was pretty cut through. I think I went under. Why did I? Why is my estimate forty five minutes? Oh. Huh. I guess forty five minutes makes sense because, like, the estimate I would actually want to put is like forty two. But 42 is really weird because it's not a multiple of five. No one on this coast will be able to challenge my rule. Not even the Camarilla. You've earned the right. Alright, so here's the epic meme. No. It can't be. It can't be, dude. Heck. Alright, so thanks for having me, and uh, save the children, okay? <laughs>